the ASUS ROG phone is here and it comes with a bunch of exciting and super cool features in tow. There's RGB lighting, cooling fans and a lot more. Here are some amazing features of the ROG phone in action. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and the ROG phone is awesome. I mean, it has everything you might want in a gaming phone, including a bunch of exciting features. So let's take a look at some great ROG phone features in action. But before we do that, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's take a look at ROG phone features. PUBG fans, you're gonna love this. The ROG phone has air triggers which are basically like invisible buttons on the side edge of the phone that you can map to any in-game functions. So yeah, I set the left trigger to scope and the right trigger to fire while playing Free Fire on the ROG phone and look at how incredible it is. I can just use these air triggers to scope and fire because our fingers usually rest in that position anyway. Why not make good use of them, right? I got a lot of kills with this. Also, there's an incredible haptic feedback here that's just oh so sweet. I love these on the ROG phone and since I'm more of a PUBG and Fortnite player anyways, I'm sure I'll be using these a lot over the next few days. What's a gaming phone without RGB lighting, right? Well, ASUS took it one step further and even put RGB lighting on the dedicated cooling fan that's inside the box. It looks pretty sick, doesn't it? Plus, the fan here is actually pretty effective. By default, it works on auto speed but you can change the speed to make it faster or slower if you like. I'm definitely gonna try this out for long gaming sessions and see if it makes a big difference but in my limited usage so far, it did feel like it's making a difference. Plus there's a USB-C port and a headphone jack on the cooling fan so even while playing you can charge your phone and connect any regular pair of headphones to it. That's just awesome. One of the most exciting accessories that ASUS has for the ROG phone is this huge twin view dock. What it does is you pop the ROG phone into it and it gives you two individual displays right there. Both of these displays are simultaneously working so you can browse a website on one display and play a game on the other one or even run two games if you want. I tried it with PUBG Mobile and the B-Bomb website open and there wasn't a single issue. It's awesome. Plus there's a whopping 6000 mAh battery inside the dock which can keep your phone charged while you're using it and a quad front facing speaker setup for even better sound. Oh, and did I mention, there's RGB lighting here as well. That's freaking amazing. Another exciting accessory for the ROG phone is this gamepad right here. As you can see, it's a pretty simple accessory actually. Just connect it to the phone and you're ready to play Android games with the gamepad. Cool, right? I played Free Fire with the gamepad and it's definitely fun. I mean, having physical buttons is easier than using a touchscreen for the most part, but aiming with joysticks is a pain that I don't like. Also, the button mapping software in the ROG phone is in beta and isn't quite there for some games like PUBG Mobile yet. However, for games like Free Fire, the buttons were working very well so these issues should be fixed over time with software updates. Anyway, the gamepad itself is great. The buttons are tactile and very responsive and with software patches, it should become even better than it already is. With all that gaming power comes great heating too. I mean, the ROG phone has an overclocked Snapdragon 845, you can bet it's gonna heat. And to handle that, ASUS has put in a vapor chamber cooling system here, which is set to provide the maximum cooling performance possible. While I obviously can't open the phone up and show it to you, I can tell you that in my time playing PUBG and Free Fire on this phone, I did not notice any heating whatsoever. That said, I'll definitely be testing it out thoroughly to see how hot the ROG phone can get with long hours of gaming, and how well this cooling system can handle the heat. The ROG phone has accessories that come with RGB lighting, but the phone itself has RGB lighting as well. There's the ROG logo on the back here and you can customize the colors on this pretty easily. In the X mode app, there are a whole host of RGB settings. Colors are there, obviously, but there's also various lighting effects including things like breathing where the light fades in and out, static where the light stays lit in a color of your choice and a lot more. Obviously, this doesn't help with gaming performance, but it does make the phone stand out and it looks really unique. I mean, I'm not one for over-the-top design on smartphones, but man, this phone hits all the right spots. I love it. Another really awesome feature of the ROG phone is that it packs in an AMOLED display. And it's not just any AMOLED display either. 
This here is a 90 hertz panel with a response time of 1 milliseconds. That's awesome and it's visible especially when you're drifting in Asphalt 9. The animations are buttery smooth and just look beautiful. Plus, even in normal usage, the 90Hz display is just a lot more responsive than regular 60Hz panels you'll find on most other smartphones. Seriously, using the ROG phone is a lot of fun and a big part of that is thanks to the crisp 90Hz display here. It's pretty impressive. Moving on, if you're the kind of person who has always wanted to play their Android games on a big screen, the ROG phone has you covered. Check out the ASUS Professional Dock. Simply plug this into your phone and you can connect a keyboard and a mouse to it to play your favorite games on a gigantic display. And if you're thinking this looks like a typical USB-C dongle, you are probably right, but there's more. Check this out. Yeah, this beast is the mobile desktop dock and it has more ports than a mid-range gaming laptop. There's USB ports, HDMI out, display port, headphone jack, USB-C for charging, just so much. It's mind-blowing. With this, you can just mount your phone into the dock, connect your keyboard and mouse and get playing. Plus you get a host of other ports as well. And you guessed it, RGB lighting. This is awesome. So those were the 8 most exciting features of the ROG phone in action. And while I'm sure you're impressed with the stuff ASUS has done here, the phone has a lot more to offer. There's the overclocked Snapdragon 845 processor running at 2.96 GHz. There's a massive 4000 mAh battery that charges really fast. It can go from 0 to 50 in just 30 minutes. The camera comes with a Super Res Images feature that takes multiple images and creates a 48 megapixel picture out of them and the ROG phone comes with a unique, super cool looking design. Seriously, you've got to see it in real life to actually understand how cool this looks. And there's also the X mode that frees up RAM and assigns it to games to bring out even better performance. All in all, it's pretty clear that the ROG phone is a truly innovative and ambitious gaming smartphone. And while some people will find all the features it brings a little overwhelming, if you're a gamer, Trust me, the ROG phone will blow you away. It's that good. Having said that, this should be a pretty expensive phone. At the time of shooting this video, we don't know the Indian price of this phone, but if the US pricing is anything to go by, this will be iPhone levels of expensive. And that's not counting the accessories. So at the end of the day, the ROG phone will only appeal to people who really, really want a feature pack and innovative gaming smartphone. Well, those were our thoughts on the ROG phone, but what do you think? Do you think the ROG phone will be a success in India? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.